Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And this short video, uh, another video in our series of videos dealing with the standard normal transformation, uh, is going to look at a particular type of scenario. It's a small scenario here that we have and that what we've been dealing with up to this particular stage. And it goes like this. Uh, the value of three bedroom semi-detached houses in a certain town are known to be normally distributed. Okay, so we know that the value, the prices of these houses in this certain town are normally distributed, which is brilliant. Which means that all of this theory got to do with bell-shaped curves, and in particular, and normal curves and standard normal curves applies. Okay, but we're also told about this particular this particular town, uh, about this particular population of three-bed semi-detached houses, is that the mean price is three hundred sixty thousand euros, and the standard deviation is eighty thousand euros. Uh, and the question itself is asking us, uh, what proportion of houses would you be would you expect to be valued above four hundred sixty thousand euros? Knowing these two particular pieces of information, can we figure out what proportion of houses will be valued above four hundred sixty thousand euros? And I suppose the first thing we should always do is to try to identify is to try to identify the population parameters to identify the population mean in this case the mean is three hundred sixty thousand euros okay so the mean is three hundred sixty thousand euros so mu is equal to three hundred sixty thousand euros and the standard deviation in this case is equal to eighty thousand euros the population standard deviation so sigma is equal to eighty thousand euros okay so once we have that what we should do is we should uh, we know it's normally distributed normally distributed so what we should do is we should set this scenario out on a normal curve on a standard on a normal curve yeah the normal curve that has these particular parameters there so it's normally distributed so we have some sort of bell-shaped curve it's normally distributed bell-shaped curve maybe that looks something like this here uh, we know the parameters associated with this normally distributed curve it's centered on 360,000 euros 360,000 seems to be down here 360,000 euros okay uh, and its standard deviation is 80,000 euros so let's just say that this shape here represents a curve that's centered on 360 and whose standard deviation is 80,000 now we're interested in and this is x this has got to do with house prices okay so we're interested in 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 what proportion of houses would be valued above 460,000 euros now 460,000 euros is over here somewhere this is maybe 460,000 here okay so we're interested in houses that are valued above that so actually in this particular situation here we're really interested in the houses that are valued above 460,000 euros which is this area under the curve uh, to the right hand side of 460,000 euros okay so what should we do well we have another curve which is a standard normal curve okay we know a standard normal curves a standard normal curve is centered on zero its mean is zero its mean is zero and its standard deviation is equal to one and we have tables that allow us we have tables that allow us to look up areas under the curve areas under these curves okay we have a set of tables that allow us to figure out these particular these particular areas okay so if we could transform this curve into one of these curves okay we should be able to calculate what this area is and we can do that we have a transformation a transform Okay, that we can use it's called the standard normal transformation and it looks something like this it's z is equal to x minus mu over sigma okay which i suppose technically technically it's x bar minus mu over sigma divided by the square root of n but in this case we're just going to assume that they're single single selections yeah okay in which case n is equal to one and we have the square root of one is one and x bar well x bar is the same as because there's only one of them yeah it's the same as x itself yeah so let's just keep this i'm not going to really go into too much about this but we're just looking at this standard normal transformation so why don't we take all of these x values and plug them into this formula and see what the associated z the associated z scores are or z values uh, that are that are fixed or that are uh, that are positioned on the standard normal curve so let me take my first x my first x is equal to three hundred sixty thousand euros okay here's the first x that we're going to use what's the z that comes along with this well the z will be 